Now I'm going to switch over to uh, Frank Fairfield here because uh, I thought it would be kind of nice to break up the sound of the three finger finger pick style. And uh, I can't help but notice you're the only guy on the stage who doesn't have gray hair. <laughs> Just to help but notice that. So what, how old are you, may I ask? 26. 26. I, I think I used to be 26 too sometimes. Um, anyway, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You came a long way from the San, not from St. Louis, from the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, so, and you, and you gig solo mostly, don't you? Yeah, I don't live in the San Joaquin Valley anymore. I uh, was born in... Fresno, I don't know, like how exciting this is to you. Well, yeah. what brings you back in East? How about that? It brings me to play here, and then I'll be playing a few other engagements around uh, Northeast. And then okay. going back to, I live in Los Angeles now. So oh, I'm sure of that. Um, <laughs> well, why don't you play us some, one of your okay. special pieces? <laughs> Yeah, 
30 in the old days if you couldn't afford a new one like that might cost 80. Yeah. So, um, uh, and I noticed it doesn't even have a geared fifth peg, which is a modern convenience. Well, none of these are geared. Not all ungeared pegs, so you got to really work a little harder to keep it in tune. Um, and the three finger style is often played with finger picks, but you elect to well, play without the picks. Well, I mean, I don't. I think the banjo originally, at least the five string banjo, is an urban instrument that was often played with, with, with three fingers. Uh, and play, playing ranks and playing uh, this kind of way, I suppose, playing uh, uh, cheap music, uh, those kinds of tunes that were an emulation of, of uh, plantation music. And it was because of that popularity of that music that the banjo spread out into less urbanized areas like the, the mountains and, and so on. And so, I don't know, I, I, and I, I like playing this tuning a lot too. And I, that uh, C or... Yeah, it's like G tuning except the fourth will drop to a C. So you like play, that, or you play the home sweet home. And, and, and. and uh, you know, where they play all those, uh, you know, people like Vess Osman and you know, they play all those great, fantastic rags. And, okay. And so I think, I don't know, especially these banjos are some of the early manufactured, you know, cheap instruments. I think the banjo before was was, a, was not for the common man. You know, the early Bacon days and uh, Fairbanks banjos were very aristocratic instruments. They had mother pearl inlays and, and beautiful engravings on them and beautiful detailed work on them. And very I, expensive. I've uh, seen pictures of ladies in long people. flowing gowns playing yeah. like five banjos. Five banjos. Yeah. So, and same with the guitar, you know, a lot of most, you know, uh, the guitar wasn't very popular until quite recently when they started making them cheap. And, and so, uh, well, um, any questions for Frank? Yes, from the front row, which is how do you visualize the neck? Do you, do you think in terms of melodies? Do you think of chordal blocks? When, when you're trying to get around, what do you see as you look at this banjo neck? Um, it depends, I guess, what tuning I'm playing in. Uh, and it depends on the tune I'm playing. And, you know, one of the things that I play is just a little melody, and I don't really think about where it is on the neck. I just kind of play. I guess with you know, some of these tunes, you can really play chords and you know different. You, know, you can play the same shapes, and I guess you guys know all that stuff. You know, there, it's a certain shapes that repeat themselves, and you just kind of end up sitting with the instrument long enough. You find these little patterns and little things and you kind of realize, oh, well, this is the same as that, it's the same as this. And, and so then whenever you're somewhere you want to play the melody up a little higher, you know what kind of position, you know, you can have a chord or some other note behind it and play that melody. But I, I don't know, I like to do some funny things sometimes, especially in the G tuning. Yeah, why don't you play a whole tune here? And, uh... You know, where I, I like to play the fifth string of... drag the melody up on this hook with one finger. I don't know why, I kind of like how it sounds. Or, but, you know, or I'll play, you know, upstroke it. Or the claw. different tunes or you want to add a lot of different little bits and pieces of different things. And, um, well, you got a quick tune for us? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, you has a your segment with you? Okay, sure. Let's see. Uh, there's something I think I haven't played in a while. He's going down into D, open D tuning on the girl.